Hey, what's happening, guys? Yesterday, we talked about this Class AB amplifier with the TDA 2030. And today, as promised, we're going to build that circuit. So, I've had this kit on my wish list for a while. It's from icstation.com, and it's the TDA 2030 amplifier kit. And I would like to thank Dave for sending it out to us. So we're going to build it and have ourselves a nice TDA 2030. If we take a look here at the circuit board, you can see there are a few changes from the circuit that I drew yesterday. They're using a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 capacitors. And my circuit had what? 8. And then there are also 4 ceramic capacitors. So that's like 13 total capacitors here. Um, yeah. So that's a little different. Also only one diode. Which is a little strange. But I think we'll make it work. All right. Buckle up. We're going to do this fast mode. <laughs> Well, we're just about done. The only thing left is this little power jack. And, uh, no. I don't want to use it. Because I don't like those jacks and I don't have anything to use it with. So, for our purposes today, just going to cut some wire. strip it 
and we'll just hook it up with alligator clips. Now, one thing I just realized the speaker terminals here for bare wire. Oh, that's kind of ugly. Well, that needs fixed. Yeah, I don't have any speakers that hook up like that. So, before we can really test this out good, I need to get a hold of a couple of speakers of that ilk. I will grab some tomorrow. I think if I go up to my mom's house, there might be some old stereo speakers from when I was a boy. So we can go check that out. Okay. Last soldering for this guy. It took me about an hour to put this together. Aren't you glad I condensed it? So, the pièce de résistance. There we go. Nice. So, let's smoke test it. We'll hook it up to 12 volts. And hopefully, the only thing that lights up is the LED. I got that set for 6 volts. Let me get in here and change it. Voltage. Boom, boom. Zip. And power. Okay. So our LED is lit. Sniff testing. <laughs> Nothing seems unreasonably hot. I guess I soldered everything in the right direction then. Power that down. Now I don't know if you could see it in the video because it went so fast, but I put thermal grease in between those TDA 2030s and the heat sinks. Get these on eBay. Just put in thermal paste. You get like 10 syringes for dollars or something ridiculous like that all right so anyway there's our amplifier that's all we can do for tonight we will do the rest when I pick up a pair of speakers to test it with and instead of just shoving some audio through it I think what we might do Yeah, here it is. Is hook up this AD9833 uh, digital synthesis chip and uh, put some different frequencies through it. Uh, you know, we can hook that up to the Arduino and we can sweep it through some different frequencies and we'll put it on a scope and look at the output. So, if you guys want to see that, give me the old thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Except the ravens.